and that was Rooftops by Lost Profits. You'll listen to the J Red Show on 90.7 The Music FM. <clears throat> In my last segment, I talked, about, I talked about the Bills' season, how they ended the drought for the what, what was review of their season, and how they ended the drought. Now I'm talking about the Super Bowl and the NFL. The Philadelphia Eagles have defeated the New England Patriots by a score. 44-33, and, um, no, not 44-33, uh, 41-33, um, it was one of the most thrilling Super Bowls I've ever I've seen. Tom Brady, the greatest of all time, lost despite throwing 500 yards. So, a lot of fans are speculating, when is the brady Belichick era going to end? Tom Brady still has some left of the tank. However, um... There are signs that this could be coming to the end. As, um, I guess, uh, I mean, the ESPN recent article that there's turmoil in the Patriots locker room, that supposedly the, um, Tom Brady forced the Patriots to trade Jimmy Garoppolo, who looked very good in San Francisco. I was kind of skeptical of that. But, I uh, there have been more and more articles talking about the dissension of the Patriots locker room and how it could be all coming to an end. How Belichick, I know Belichick had, um, there were rumors around Belichick going retiring. No one's really confirmed anything yet. To be honest, I fully predict that Brady and Belichick will be back next year. If anyone leaves for the Patriots, I think it's going to be Rob Gronkowski. He's been fighting some concussion issues. He's, it, he's 28 years old, so. He might want to pursue, he's been talking about the pursuit of careers in either acting or WWE. But I fully expect the Patriots to be back at least one more year. I know Brady says he's going to be talking, he's going to stay around until he's 45. But even though he had a great Super Bowl, I, he did miss some passes. I think the father time will catch up to him. And he will start to look older. So, the division could be wide open for the Bills next year. I mean, on one hand, I get so annoyed with people who say the Patriots are the reason for the drought. I hear it on WGR, I hear it all over the place. People seem to think the reason why the Bills went so long without playoffs is because of Tom Brady, Bill Belichick, and the New England Patriots. No, the Bills did it to themselves. They've been a poorly ran franchise for 17 years. Let's go, let's go over this. Had the Bills swept the Patriots every year of the drought. <laughs> they would have made it five times. 2002, 2004, 2006, 2014, 2015. <clears throat> every other year, even if they had swept the Patriots, they would not have made the wild card round. So, it's a bit ridiculous to say the Patriots are the reason for the drought. Let's go over one at a time. Year one, of the drought, 2000, they went 8-8. Eight and eight. They did not have to deal with Brady and Belichick. So, no, they would not have made the playoffs that year. 2001, they went 3-13. and 13. Had they swept the Patriots, they would have been 5-11. No. 2002, they went 8-8. Eight and eight. This is the first year a sweep of the Patriots would have gotten them into the playoffs. It was a crazy, 2002 was a crazy year. The Jets, the Patriots, and Dolphins all went 9-7. The Bills went 8-8. Eight and eight. So yes, had they swept the Patriots, they would have been 10-6. But, there was a game in there where the Patriots, um, where the Bills only put up 7 points. They lost 38-7 to to the, the Patriots. So you can't say Tom Brady was the reason for the drought. And if had they only won, you can't say that Tom Brady was the reason. You can't, sorry. You cannot say if Tom Brady wasn't there, the Bills would have made the playoffs. Because if they had only won one game, they'd be 9-7. But they lost the tiebreakers to the Jets. They lost both games to the Jets that year. So, I don't think that would have been... They, they, they needed two wins over the Patriots, so that would not have gotten it done. 2003, they blew out the Jets. They blew out the Patriots the first game. They lost They lost them the second game, 31-0. So they won six and ten. Had they won that final game, they would have been seven and nine. No, they would not have made the playoffs. 
2004, they went 9-7. and seven. Only one or two times in the drought, they went 9-7. and seven. Had they swept the Patriots, they would have been 11-5. and five. They would have made the playoffs. That was, one, that was one of the few years where they only had to beat the Patriots once to make the playoffs. But again, they, they, there was a poor offensive performance in there. They lost 29-6. And then 31 to 17. So again, you're grasping at straws. The old four Bills was the clo- was one of the closest times they've gotten to the end of the drought early. But that's because they had an easy schedule. All they had to do was beat Pittsburgh backups, and they would have made the playoffs, but they didn't they didn't get it done. 2005, they went 5 and 11. If they swept the Patriots, they would have been 7 and 9. So no. 2006, this is the third year they would have made the playoffs under Brady and Belichick, if Brady was around. This would have been the third year they would have made the playoffs had Brady not been, had the had this with the Patriots. But, there was a game in there where they only put up six points against the Patriots. Six! They needed to sweep the Patriots that year. So again, these are vague assumptions. That they, these are vague assumptions that they would have made the playoffs if Brady and Belichick wasn't there. 2007, they went seven and nine. This was only one of two times the Bills would have made the playoff. This was one of only two times the Bills finished second place in the drought. Two times. So they, you can't even say they would have won the division if those all those years. 2008, they went 7 and 9. Had they swept the Patriots, they would have been 9 and 7. No. 2009, they went 6 and 10. Had they swept the Patriots, they would have been 8 and 8. No. 2010, they went 4 and 12. They would have been 6 and 10 had they swept the Patriots. No. They went 6 and 10 the next three years. Those three years, they would have been 8 and 8 had they swept the Patriots. No. So that's still a pretty long playoff drought. 2014 is probably the best chance. It was the second time they finished second, and the second time they finished nine and seven. It was due to a great defense. Okay, now if, if you if you if you're making the argument that the Patriot that the Bills would still be in a long playoff drought, the the, the, the reason for the playoff drought is the Patriots. T- 2014 is probably your best chance. It's probably your best best to say. Yes, if Brady and Belichick wasn't around, they probably would have made this year. I mean, I, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to argue the opposite, but I'm trying to look at the other side of the argument as well. But honestly, anyone who says that Brady and Belichick's reason for the drought is grasping at straws. The Bills really did it to themselves. 2015, they would have beat, made the playoffs if they, if Brady, if they would have swept the Patriots. And 2016, no, they would not. You are just... It's just grasping at major straws. Maybe we sneak in once or twice, but that's no excuse for the incompetence at one Bills drive. Brady and Belichick did not draft, did not hire Greg Williams or Mike Malarkey or Dick Duran or Chan Gailey or Doug Marone or Rex Ryan. They did not draft J.P. Lossman or Trent Edwards or E.J. Manuel. Or John or John McCargo or Eric Flowers or a whole list of draft busts the Bills have had the 17 years. In my opinion, the biggest reason um, the Bills went so long about playoffs though is Ralph Wilson being cheap and letting players go, like Pat Williams, Jarris Bird, Andy Lavitri. The the list goes on and on of guys Ralph Wilson should have paid. To keep around, to try to end, to try to end the drought, because as John Murphy's always says, continuity helps build a winner, and a lack of continuity is probably one of the reasons why the Bills have went so long without playoffs. I know John Murphy gets a little angry when we call for people to be fired, and grant that when the Bills keep screwing up for 17 years, people deserve to be fired. But he has a good point about continuity. He has to. They gotta keep the same players, the same coaches for a long, for a while. And the, the right, well, they gotta find the right players and the right coaches. Keep them around, learn the defensive, offensive schemes, and just try to work from there. 
So this, so that's why I ran on the Bills and the Patriots. Um, is this the star of the Eagles dynasty? Carson Wentz went down. Nick Foles came in, and they won the Super Bowl without the star quarterback. They have a young, nice young team and a bright future. They won the Super Bowl with a journeyman quarterback. Imagine what they're going to be like if Carson Wentz can turn out to be the next major star. They could be the next dynasty. I mean, I don't know how much longer Brady and Belichick going to be around, but it wouldn't surprise me if the Eagles could. But I bet you that's not the first time we're not going to see the we're going to see the Eagles in the Super Bowl. All right, what are your thoughts? Hey man, Twitter at J Red Show, and we'll begin back into the music. If you have a request, my Twitter account's J Red Show. And coming up next is um, Rancid with Ruby Soho. So keep up, keep up to nine point seven the Music FM.